ओके गाइस हाय हेलो एवरीवन हेलो माय किटायन आर्मी अ वेरी वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू योर टुडे सेशन एंड दिस क्लास इज गोइंग टू बी सुपर डुपर इंपॉर्टेंट गाइस बिकॉज यू हैव बीन स्टडिंग फॉर द लास्ट सो मेनी मंथ्स एंड नाउ इट इज द टाइम नाउ योर टर्म टू इज हैपनिंग फाइनली सो यू शुड नो अबाउट द टॉपिक्स दैट यू कैन नेवर मिस this time in term 2 you cannot take any risk because you people have already you know jitna risk lena tha you have risked it in your term 1 so now we don't have margin to lose our marks okay so shilpi ma'am is going to discuss about the topics that you cannot miss for your chemistry term 2 i hope you all are super duper ready for it yes or no yes ma we will always be ready for that yes guys so i will be telling you those topics that is to be done by us okay from this scratch so pay attention to each and everything and where am i taking this session this session is conducted on vedantu's interactive session for all the youtube students and what is the advantage of taking the session there you do get your real time feedback of the speed the accuracy okay the seamless quiz and learning experience and you can track your overall class performance like what else someone needs and how to jo to join these sessions a link is given in description box of the video simply tap on that link and come and join the session over here okay i'm talking about myself who am i i am your chemistry master teacher shilpi kaushik on vedantu 9th and 10th english channel and i have completed my masters in chemistry from nid jalandhar i have experience of teaching a lot of students like you but what is important to know about shilpi ma'am is that i call my students kitaiyan so my kitaiyan you have to rock in your term to examination because we have worked hard for this academic year entirely okay so big hello again to each and every student who have just joined us okay say hello to mom hi okay so starting with some good vibes the more you sweat in peace the less you bleed in war yes okay so you have to actually work hard guys if you are doing stuff now if you are well prepared in advance then you don't have to worry about anything in the you know during the exam time or one day before the exam if you start your syllabus very late then one day before exam you are like ma'am what should i do what are the important topics in carbon periodic classification you are always like that isn't it guys so if in case you are new on the channel then make sure that you subscribe to it okay and you hit the like button of the video okay and share the video with your friends so that they can also know the topics that they cannot effort to do wrong in their term to examination or miss that the first thing versatile nature of carbon a very important topic then saturated unsaturated hydrocarbons you should know about the homologous series position of elements in the periodic table and periodic properties and trends so everything we have to do okay these topics are most 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 important topics fine so you will make sure that you do not lose them so i'll be making you revise these topics also first we have versatile nature of carbon this question has been asked a lot number of times for two marks okay what makes carbon so unique the first thing we have is tetravalency you know that carbon has a configuration of 2 4 so it is having four valence electrons that means four valency so carbon has tendency to make four covalent bonds at the same time by sharing its electrons and the beauty is that these four bonds that can be made by carbon it can also show multiple bond formation that can be single double bond or triple bond okay one point you have to add there you will get one mark for writing about the 
tetravalency fine the next point that you have to write in the two marker question is the catenation what is catenation you know the self linking tendency of atoms of element to form carbon chains and the rings fine guys so give me the answer in the live chat yes come on guys you have to be active respondent to what ma'am is asking okay so if this question versatile nature of carbon comes you have to give answers in basically two points first you will explain about the tetravalency the second is catenation you know catenation is what the self linking tendency of carbon carbon is like if no one is helping me with the electrons don't worry i will help myself isn't it we all know god help those who help themselves right so carbon atoms decide to share electrons between each of those atoms so carbon is like okay i can link with the other carbon atoms and can form long chains now the beauty is that these chains can be straight chains okay carbon is like dude i am versatile for a reason i can also make the branched chains yes there can be branches and it can also make the rings fine you can see over here we can see cyclopentane is there so the most common example of the elements carbon shows excellent catenation apart from that you will see silicon sulfur boron etc and in fact phosphorus they can show catenation but carbon maximum tendency to show catenation why because carbon has a small size you know second period element small size so what happens nucleus will be holding the shared pair of electron very tightly because of that these bonds formed are very much stronger bonds okay and beta strong bonds are always the most stable ones so what you will be writing in exam you will write about catenation and remember this versatile nature can also be asked in a different format they can ask you that why carbon element is known to make so many compounds okay so you have to give the reason because of the versatile nature of the carbon fine so this is the question what are the two properties of carbon which lead to the huge number of carbon compounds we see around us and what is the answer you're going to give there the versatile nature so you can expect this question in board exam do not miss it now second important topic is saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons okay saturated you know the carbon atoms are linked to each other by the single covalent bond so they have all carbon atoms making the single bonds okay and in the unsaturated here the valencies of carbon are not fully satisfied by single you might see carbon atoms making a double bond with each other or carbon atoms making a triple bond okay so when carbon makes only single bond what do we call them in the live chat everybody yes what are these hydrocarbon alkanes they are chemically less reactive that is why inka ek aur naam hota hai paraffins okay paraffins means para means less affin means affinity so they have less reactivity towards chemical reaction because it's difficult to break this single covalent bond okay it's very strong and if you talk about unsaturated they are chemically more reactive okay they are more prone to reactions so they can react easily and the one where we have carbon double bonds they are known as alkenes triple bonds known as alkynes you should know their general formula also alkenes have number of hydrogen twice plus 2 of number of carbon and alkenes have hydrogen double to number of carbon and alkynes may we have hydrogen two less than twice of number of carbon so do remember the general formula also okay 
these are some of the examples we have taken for saturated and unsaturated here you can see all carbon bonds are single but in unsaturated this is an alkene double bond and here we have alkyne the triple bond okay guys clear now what kind of question can come in exam these differentiate between saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbon abhi humne dekha so whenever difference comes you have to make sure that you draw a line and then differentiate between the two theek hai line laga ke acche se you have to differentiate now other than that if we ask you about let's say the name and structure of a saturated compound in which carbon atoms are arranged in a ring no problem we simply have to show the cycloalkane yes you know about cycloalkanes i will spell it more correctly cycloalkanes so when we are having carbon atoms connected to each other by a single covalent bond in a closed chain okay in a closed chain that is something we call as cycloalkane the rest of the valencies beta you can satisfy by attaching the hydrogen atom so no issues are there okay give the number of single bonds present in the compound so first we have shown the five carbon atoms connected by a single covalent bond in a cyclic form okay now let's attach the hydrogen this carbon has already made two bonds i can attach two hydrogen atom yes here also i can attach two hydrogen here also so basically everywhere you can attach to each carbon two hydrogen yes so you can remove the cycloalkane and with the notes you will get in the description box of the video so do not worry okay the hydrogen here and the hydrogen here so how many single covalent bonds count it one Two, three, four, and five. Okay, now hydrogen and carbon. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Right? Can you give the answer like that? Yes, ma'am. We are super duper understanding everything. Yes. Chalo, ek baar duel pe ja lete hain for all of you who are in the session who are solving along with Shruti, ma'am. Yes, amazing. Okay, now the next very important topic: homologous series. Okay, you cannot skip. Homo means same, and logous means member. So homologous series, they are the members of the same family. Now, what is same in them? Their chemical properties are similar. Okay, why the chemical properties are similar? Because the functional group is same. So members of homologous series they do have the same functional group. That is why they are having the same chemical properties. Okay, like you are having methane, then you are having ethane, then you will be having propane, and so on. So what do you see over here? The successive members differ by CH two. If you add CH two into CH four, you get next member. Again, if you add CH two into C two H six, you will get next member, and so on. They all are having carbon single bonds. That is similar in them. They are from the alkene family. Let's say you want to go with the alcohol homologous series. Okay, we have methanol. The next member, ethanol. the next member propanol okay and so on so what did you see you can see they have the same functional group dekho they all have oh and functional group determines the chemical properties of a substance okay this the alkyl part determines the physical properties okay so if the functional group is same beta i can say the chemical properties are going to be similar definitely the successive member differ by ch2 okay yes ma'am 
so that is why we can say that they have the similar chemical property and very important and you need to understand the physical property changes gradually for them okay because what is happening the mass is changing each time there is an increase of ch2 unit in the successive member mass is increasing by 14 unit so that means the physical properties like mass, density, melting point, boiling point, they are impacted. Fine, so you have to understand them and that physical property keeps on gradually changing. That is an important point, write about it. Physical property, they gradually change. Okay, everybody, this has been asked in one year already. So they have same functional group, they have same general formula. Yes, like if I'm saying alcohols, follow this general formula. All the members will have the same general formula. N is the number of carbon atom. Same functional group, same chemical property. The method of preparation is also same. Fine? Remember what they can ask you in the exam. These questions can come. Write the molecular formula of second and third member of homologous series where the first member is ethyl you can write it easily first member they have said is ethyl tell me in the chat what will be the second member after it after two carbon there will be three carbon the word root is prop and i alkyne family the third member but I yay yes write the name and structure of aldehyde with four carbon atom in its molecule comment section hint I will give you aldehydes have CHO as the functional group okay guys everyone has to give me the answer in the comment section if you are serious for chemistry term 2 okay then this is easy general formula of alkanes, alkenes, alkynes. Draw the structure of first member. I guess you all can do this. Okay, simple. So you don't have to miss on to this. This is important. Now ma'am will be talking about the, you know, questions which can come from the periodic classification. What is important? Position of elements is important. Position of element in horizontal rows and in vertical group. So at least I would advise you that you remember elements still here. Okay, the general elements of first four periods and 18th group, you should have an idea about them. And configuration of first till 20 elements must be clear. You should know their valency also. Okay, all these things are important. Question, let's see question here. This question has been asked in the past year. The position of certain elements in modern periodic table is given here. Okay. HCS. HCS. Which has the largest atomic size? Now remember guys. HCF does, they doesn't show any element. C is not carbon, F is not fluorine. It is a general representation. Okay. And we know that if we are going top to bottom, what is happening? Number of shells are increasing. Yes. So what happens? Number of shells are increasing. Valence electron goes very far apart from the nucleus. So effective nuclear charge decreases. Number of shells are increasing, so size of atom increases. Okay, so top to bottom size increases. We can say fluorine will be having the largest atomic size. Now, they are from group number 18. To which family do they belong? They belong to noble gases. Kar sakte ho, sare log? Yes, ma'am, we can do it. Easy peasy? Yes, chalo. Isi baat pe... A big round of applause for, for participating in the class, guys. Okay, those who are actively there in the chat box listening to ma'am. Amazing. Amazing. So, position of elements, Nikalna, we you should know. Okay, easy hai. What else question can come? The electronic configuration of element is given to us 284. State its group. So for group, you will see the valence electrons. Hai na? 
this element is having four valence electrons so it belongs to which group group number 14 yes so i guess you remember this trick group number is equal to 10 plus valence electrons if valence electron is more than 2 okay and group number is equal to valence electrons if valence electrons is equal to 1 or 2 fine you can do this so here we can say four valence electron so it belongs to which group group number 14 okay yes and it is also saying period batao period nikalna is very easy period number is equal to number of shells in an atom so it is having three shells so it belongs to third period 14th group third period okay yes name and right is one physical property yes come on guys in the comment section what is the name of this element it is kept below carbon what is the name and what is its physical property that is to be given by you to shakti ma'am in the comment section okay everyone has to do it an element x belongs to third period and group number 13 of modern periodic table determine the valence electrons easy hai third period group number 13 what is that guys third period means there are three shells k l and m group number 13 elements have three valence electrons okay so configuration is 283 okay yes valence electrons that means are 3 group number 13 okay valence electrons kitne hai 3 hai okay valency will also be 3 okay so if valence electrons are less than equal to 4 valence electrons are less than equal to 4 then valency is equal to valence electrons okay so valency will also be 3 aluminum easy peasy yes ma'am super easy now there can be some questions on the trends also most important okay so on the trends i have attached the notes here you can see if uh, the definition of atomic radius comes in exam how will you be writing it so it is simply the distance of center of nucleus up to the valence shell okay see i'll show you here independently this is an atom nucleus and let's draw one more shell over here this one here is the valence electron let's say we have to take the distance of center of nucleus up to the outermost shell this this distance is the atomic radius okay or atomic size of an isolated atom so you know isolated atom means atom should be free it should not be bonded like this you know so in these cases atomic radius comes out to be smaller than the actual one okay so aise cases mein what do we find we find this complete distance of the two nuclei internuclear distance then we divide it by 2 then we get the radius okay so this is not the very right estimate although so it's important to mention the isolated atom and what is the trend of atomic radii left to right when we are going in a period then what happens because effective nuclear charge keeps on increasing so atomic size decreases up to group number 17 okay so we can say nuclear charge pulls the electron valence electron closer to the nucleus and reduces the size but when we go top to bottom then what happens new shells are adding on effective nuclear charge the pull of nucleus on valence electron decreases because distance has increased so much so overall size also increases remember these trends guys ye sare important hai and again metallic character is what tendency of an element to lose the electron okay to donate the electrons and non metallic character is tendency to accept the electron or ease to give
again the electron fine and what happens in metallic character you know that if you are going left to right across the period we know effective nuclear charge is increasing okay so what will happen nucleus will attract the valence electron more tightly towards itself so in this case it will become more and more difficult for the atom to lose the electron okay so metallic character decreases when we are going left to right across a period okay that is why on the left hand side you have metals in the periodic table by the time you reach right hand side that area belongs to non metals okay so metals are electropositive in nature it means they can quickly lose their electrons and make cations non metals are electronegative they can gain electrons and make anion okay and if you talk about top to bottom then what happens we know effective nuclear charge decreases number of shells are continuously increasing nucleus and valence electron far away from each other so in that case it is very easier for the atom to lose its electron okay top to bottom metallic character increases and non metallic will be just opposite of metallic character left to right it increases okay and top to bottom non metallic character decreases Okay, guys. So try to remember that the trend is explained over here. The same trend is for the electro-positive and electro-negative character. Okay. Yes. Very good. Now these are the questions that you can see. Give the definition of atomic size in what units to be measure it, and in modern periodic table. what trend is observed in atomic radii in group n period they can ask you question on any of the trend so also see the chemical reactivity okay the nature of oxides that is equally important so i would be just summing it up see you have to see effective nuclear charge the pull of nucleus on the valence electron the force of nucleus on the valence electron effective nuclear charge is inversely proportional to the atomic size okay guys left to right yahan pe dekho left to right you are going across the period effective nuclear charge increase karta hai because number of protons are increasing hai na and shells are same so each time electron is added to the same shell but protons are continuously increasing in the nucleus so force of attraction of nucleus on valence electron will increase atomic size decrease effective nuclear charge is inversely proportional to metallic character also so left to right metallic character decreases okay i can say effective nuclear charge is inversely proportional to electro positive character so left to right tendency of the element to lose the electron and make it ion decreases ha i can say effective nuclear charge is directly proportional to non metallic character okay effective nuclear charge is directly proportional to electro negative character okay so you can write this top to bottom effective nuclear charge decreases. if you remember this general case you can remember the periodic property okay yes one more thing guys i would like to tell you and what is that do you face any of the following problems now because this is the end time your exams have been started now so it's high time that we go for a final revision okay guys final revision so we are having drona batch that got started for you the last drona batch jo hai abhi shuru hua hai 22nd of april ko this is for the hard core revision of term 2 term 2 revision capsule kya hai ye term 2 revision capsule 
द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन द मोस्ट एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन ऑफ टर्म टू विल बी कवर्ड इन दिस सो अभी भी टाइम है यू हैव टू ज्वाइन दिस थ्रू ना बैच एंड द ए आई लाइफ कोर्स यू हैव टू ज्वाइन विच इज वेरी 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 चीप एंड अफोर्डेबल सारे सब्जेक्ट्स का रिविजन होगा इसमें ऑल योर सिक्स सब्जेक्ट्स फिजिक्स केमेस्ट्री मैथ्स बायोलॉजी इंग्लिश एंड सोशल स्टडीज वॉट इज शिल्पी मैम स्क्यूप एंड कोड एस के ए Bro, Shilpi Kaushik Army, bro, you have to apply that. कहाँ पे apply करना है? Ma'am would be telling you, this is the video that you're watching right now. Go to the description box. You will see a link. Drona Reloaded, guys. सबसे ज्यादा एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चंस हैं इसके अंदर ठीक है अगर द्रोना लगा लिया ना बता रही हूँ पेपर में फोर्टी एन फोर्टी आने से कोई नहीं रोक सकता नो वन कैन स्टॉप यू विच इज द मोस्ट एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम आर एक्सपीरियंस एंड गाइस वी नो दैट टर्म वन में भी ऐसा ही हुआ था स्टूडेंट्स वो लाइक मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन केम फ्रॉम आर क्लास नोट्स डायरेक्टली एम ओके एंड द्रोना लगा लिया ना लास्ट में तो बल्ले बल्ले हो जाएगी बिकॉज अभिषेक सर पढ़ा रहे हैं फिजिक्स के मोस्ट एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन ओके द कोर्स इज अवेलेबल फॉर जस्ट नाइन हंड्रेड नाइनटी रुपीज Pay it at once. You will never regret it. You will be thankful, ki ma'am. Thank you. We attended Shilpi ma'am session, and we went for the AI live. AI live me Vidantu has reduced the prices so much. How by enhancing our tech features. So you know Vidantu entire technical team, tech team worked hard for you so that prices can be reduced, and every child can get quality education. जिन लोगों का term one बर्बाद हो चुका है. और वो स्कोर फोर्टी देर यू हैव टू वर्क हार्ड नाउ है ना अगर बर्बाद हो गया था टर्म वन टर्म टू इज योर एक्सपेक्टेशन If you score very, if you did very well in term one, you have to maintain the consistency. Okay, and most important questions will be covered. That is the biggest point to tell you that you should go with that, and you will be getting the handwritten notes of the classes. And may test be conducted. So you know, test will be conducted. So you can appear in that. You will see the question all in your test. Hoga where you can see your rank performance analysis. Each and everything will be covered. Okay, and you have to apply. Should be ma'am. Scoop and code S K A Pro. The course is available for nine hundred ninety rupees. The features are unlimited. Revised term to syllabus with the interactive classes, practice question, mock test, all India series comes with it. During the live batches, we have our class teachers to take your doubts. Okay, so these are the. Augmented interactive life, so is me. Class teacher would be there to take your queries, tips and tricks. Revise any time concept with your class notes and recordings. Okay, guys. So you have to go with that. The calendar schedule will not be clash. Not will be with the exam. During the exam days, you have to do it. You can see your teachers, Anubha ma'am, Ankita ma'am, Amit sir, Amrit sir, Abhay sir. So it's like. Wow, and our results in term two are going to be super amazing, guys, because we have produced excellent results in the past year paper. You can see that these are some very few students visible to you. Fine, so you can check the details. Everything is given over here. What you will be getting, tips and tricks and everything. Tap on buy course and simply make the payment. Is too late? Mat karna. ठीक है अभी भी you guys are on the time, so you have to be on the track. Okay, you should not regret it. Fine guys, that is all for today's session. जो भी आज बताया है that was very much important. So please watch those topics, cover those topics. Okay, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for attending the session. Okay, yeah. Bye guys, take care and make sure that you hit the like button of the video. Comment down. any issue that you are having and wish each other all the very best bye guys